Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for October 7th or thereabouts. This reading is not time specific and it's not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. What do we have coming up? What's in store for the universe? I want to say my condolences, my deepest heartfelt condolences to people that have lost somebody. I have received quite a bit of confirmation uh, that people have, have passed away um, that they did not expect. And I just, I want to, I want to say I am very, very sorry for your loss. Um, yeah. So. What do we got? What do we got for today? Wheel of Fortune reverse for an overall energy. So this is stuck. It's like life is trying to change things, but somebody is putting their foot up against the door, not letting the, not, not letting the universe. It's like, you know, sticking your foot and not letting the door shut. It's like the universe, it's like this big old uh, gust of wind has come and it's trying to slam the door shut and somebody sticks their foot in the way. Fighting what is meant to be. Get your foot out of the way. If the door is supposed to close, if the, if the wind came up to shut it, there's a reason for that. So somebody is blocking good fortune. They are blocking good luck. They are blocking destiny. They are blocking what is meant to be. They are fighting all the good things by hindering, by stopping what is meant to be, by stopping this closure. This There's a cycle that is trying to end. It's like the universe says, it's over, it's done, it's done, it's done. It's time to go through that new door. Turn around, go the other direction. Oh my God. Okay. This is big. Okay. It is absolutely time for a cycle to end. But somebody is clinging to control, trying to control destiny. And the, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is bad luck, bad karma. This is a card of karma and destiny. In reverse, it's bad luck, bad karma. This is a cycle that needs to end. This is a cycle that is going to end. It's, it's all you're doing is biding your time. This is a major new beginning waiting to be had. But somebody keeps, you know, blocking it. Blocking a successful new beginning, be lo blocking a new start, blocking a new life, a new chapter. This is a completion, this is a completion. There is a cycle that is wanting to end, and this is the un this is a universe card. This one is too. Majors are universally driven. The universe is saying, this needs to end, this needs to end, this needs to end, this needs to end. Don't you want your good luck? Don't you want your good fortune? Don't you want good karma? Or do you want to keep going down that shitty old road? Do you want to keep on breaking or repairing that broken door over and over and over again. 
Have you learned your lesson yet or not? Do you want to keep repeating what you resist persists? Do you really, really, really want to keep repeating that cycle over and over and over and over again? Karmic lesson. Somebody has learned their lesson because this is upright. So we do have somebody that is watching this. We have, it's probably about, what is it, 50 50? 50% 50 of people are stuck and they, they're clinging to control and they got their foot up against that door. The universe is trying like hell. And they are, and, and hell is a very prominent word here. To get you to close this door, they will continue to put you through hell. Until you do. Until you have learned your lesson, you will live in hell. Did you guys miss me? That some people have learned their lesson. And something big is coming. They have stepped over the finish line and a new chapter is about to begin. There is some people though, maybe, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the two of swords because denial is big. Oh no, no, it's my karmic that needs to learn the lesson. Oh no, no, it's his ex that needs to learn, learn the lesson. Oh no, 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 no. It's not me. It's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for you. You're exempt. Clinging to control. I'm in control. I will not change my direction. Therefore, I will continue to be stuck and go backwards and have bad luck and bad karma continue to replay and come into my life because I refuse to accept change. I hope that you are not in this spot. I hope that you are in this spot. This person has learned a lesson and has stepped over the finish line, has completed a big phase in their life. They have graduated and they have learned. They see that situation as a lesson and they accept it as a lesson. And they are ready to move on. So congratulations if you are this. King of Cups. Seven of Wands. This is a very feeling individual. Somebody that... Um, He's not very, he's not as in, intellectual, but he has a big heart. So this is somebody that is looking for love. Very charming. Very romantic. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be a father. This could be, I feel like this is a male. I do. I feel like this is a male that is following his heart. This is a card of protection, protecting. So somebody may be, this guy may have been protecting his heart. This is pushing like on guard. We have somebody here that is on guard that is watching and waiting. Empress. Thank God she's in the upright. She's she's right here. She's learned her lesson. This is the queen of all queens. We do have somebody here that's learned their lesson. Okay, through pain, through suffering. 
This is the rebirth. This is the birth of a new life. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Or this could just be the Venus energy that is in the air right now. But we do have a bowl right here. Anyhow, um, but this is at ease. Very much at ease. This is a new beginning and this is a new life. So we do have a new life here. We have a new beginning, a new beautiful beginning. Hmm. Magician. Now this is a trickery. This is trick. This is a trickster. This is trickery. Loss of power. This empress, empress is in her power. She's upright, but she's been dealing. There's somebody here that is a trickster, a liar. Somebody that is very, very crafty that may have tried to take advantage of somebody. This person's trying, trying to take control, trying to, this is a liar. We have a loss of a relationship. We have a loss of a friendship or a loss of a relationship here. Not having any fun. We have this empress here who knows her value. She's valuable. She's beautiful. She has strength. She has found strength through suffering. Ooh, Queen of Cups reversed right next to the King of Cups upright. This is a somebody that is not giving love anymore, closed off emotionally. We have some, we definitely have somebody that is no longer reciprocating in love. No love left to offer. Somebody has turned their back. They have turned their back completely on a soulmate. And they are focused on a new beginning here. This is the loss of friendship, the loss of a relationship. Not going to be tricked. Somebody has been tricked. They've been lied to. They've been duped. They were dealing with a trickster who involved them. You know, this person lied or this person was very controlling and manipulative and may have brought another person into the mix. We have a third party situation here. They brought another person into the mix trying to control a situation. But this person, it's like this person has risen above it. I'm too good for this. I know my value. I know my worth. So we definitely have somebody here that is no longer in love. No longer in love right here. Lesson learned. That's not love. I'm worth more than that. Page of Cups. Yeah, we got somebody here who has decided, no, this is not love. Somebody has, has decided they are not going to communicate. They're not going to give their love away. Not going to reciprocate. Somebody is not going to reciprocate at all. Not going to give. I'm not going to give my love to somebody who won't fight for me. Somebody that won't protect me. Somebody that won't open their heart to me. I feel like we have somebody here that... I, well, we do have bad karma here. Somebody brought themselves some bad luck, some bad karma by lying and, and being very sneaky and cunning and engaging themselves in a third party relationship. Somebody engaged themselves in a third party relationship trying to uh, trick another person. It's like control them. It was a control issue here. 
I'll get you to appease. I'll get you to do it my way. I'll get you to listen. You know, that's control. I'll teach you a lesson. That's what they thought. They thought they were going to teach another person a lesson. They did. They taught that person self-worth. Yeah. You did. There was a lesson learned here. Self-worth and self-value. Lesson, self-worth, and self-value. There's a third-party situation that somebody was put in by a soulmate. And in the end, it taught the rejected person self-value. And it's like now, it feels like now this person has love to offer, but there's no reciprocation. There is no love left. The love is gone. The love is gone. Isn't there a song for that? The love is gone. There is a song. I can hear it in my head. It is. There's a, the love is gone. There's not one thing that can be done to bring it back. It's over. King of Wands reversed. Now, this person had a lot of pride, had a lot of ego. Let ego and pride get in the way. Didn't take action. Very controlling. Very manipulative. Now, this person doesn't really have anything to celebrate. Isn't happy at all. Because they're not, you know, they, they involve themselves with another person who didn't love them. And the person that they did, that did love them, doesn't love them anymore. It's funny how karma and destiny work out. Broken heart. Heartache. We have a broken heart here. being left out being left being left behind somebody was is being left behind and it's like they're being they're being helped by somebody else now it's like somebody is helping them Somebody is helping them to leave behind that heartache, to leave behind that pain. Eight of Cups, goodbye. Goodbye. Emotion leaving behind the emotional disappointment. Somebody's leaving. Somebody is, is absolutely leaving. And I think they're leaving. And this could go many different ways because what just came to my mind was that the third party, it's like the third, I feel like almost like the third party is leaving as well. That's karma. It feels like the third party realized that they were being used, they were being tricked just to prove a point to the to the to the to the woman that they that the man that they engaged with loved. They realized it's like they see what happened here. It's like you just used me to get to her or him to get to her. I think that's what it is. It's like this person really wakes up and says you're in love with her. You don't love me. I'm not, why would I want to stay with you when you're in love with her? This is heartbreak. It's heartbreaking. Somebody got themselves into a relationship with a real trickster. A trickster that was really trying to prove something <laughs> to somebody else. 
And that sucks. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. It hurts more than one person. It hurts two. Anyhow, there's a rejection here. There is definitely a rejection. Somebody is leaving. They are walking away. There's no love here. This is an unrequited love situation. It is. This is not good news with the Page of Cups reversed. It's not good news. It's not love. This is somebody that is abandoning ship. They are. It's like they're abandoning this because it hurts them too much. It hurts them to know that, there, that, there's, that there's no real love. We do have we also have a king of king of cups whose heart is breaking. Now the king of cups does not have to be a water sign. It's any man that has a big heart. So we do have somebody that has a big heart that you know this feels like a heart attack. This is heart pain that hurts so bad. It hurts so freaking bad that there's no love left. There's no love beat left. There's no love. And this, and this person knows that it's a soulmate. They know that this is a soulmate connection. And it hurts. But they let their ego and their pride get in the way of success. Marry each other. With the queen of all queens. Dipshit. Anyhow. Nothing left to give, not one thing. So we do have somebody here that is has learned their lesson. And I don't know, this person may have learned their lesson. Now that she has turned her back, she's turned her back. And moved on. Moved on. She's no she's not even she's gone. Gone. En route to the other side. See ya. Adios. Bye bye. Yeah. So this person has turned their back. Now this, this one isn't happy. This one is not happy because their heart is breaking. Their heart is breaking. This person has turned their back on this controlling son of a bitch. Being rec this is recognition, being recognized. Somebody is being recognized for their strength, for their for their leadership, for their skills, for their ability to lead others and help others and teach others. This is success. So this is success as well. It's like this person is now recognizing this other person's success. Huh. Yeah, there's my two of swords. Now they see the truth. Now they see the truth. It's reversed. Now they see the truth. It's like, damn, damn. <laughs> now they're afraid. Now they're afraid. They're afraid to step forward. They're afraid to come in. Now they are. It's like now they can't make a move. Because they know that the person that they are dealing with doesn't trust them anymore. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here holding on to her value. She's loyal. She's stable. She's solid. She should see she is secure. She doesn't really have anything to offer because she knows her value. If you take a look at that card. I mean, she's looking down at her value. She is. She's looking down at her value. She doesn't need to give it away. She's not going to give it away. She's not going to give it away easily. Okay. We have this Queen of Pentacles who's like, I got so much to offer. I, I, 
I ain't just going to give it away. She's very loyal. Dogs are a symbol of loyalty. She's grounded. She's comfortable. She's sitting on her throne with ease. She's like, I know what I have. I know what I have. And I have a lot. And she's just going to sit there and hold on to what she has. She's going to hold on to her value. And she's going to keep working on herself until she's right, until the right one comes in. To the right one that has courage and confidence comes in. She's in no hurry. She knows her value. She knows her worth. So we have a queen here. that sees who she was dealing with. She has learned her lesson and she has moved on. And we have a king here who made a very poor decision to engage himself in a third party situation. And this could go vice versa. He broke this woman's heart. But she learned self-value and self-respect. And she is highly recognized by others at this time for her strength and her ability to lead and help others. She is now successful. This guy, now his heart is breaking. Now his heart is broken. Karma really does what goes around comes around. Now he sees the truth about her value. But this is fighting for something. This is, you know, he would have to fight for her. But he doesn't have any courage. He doesn't have any confidence. And he is definitely, he knows he will be rejected or he fears rejection. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. She's already started her new life and moved on. So this is heartbreaking. Somebody is, is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is a painful separation. So this is a painful separation. It is. That's the truth. It's over. Lesson learned. Good luck.